He says, here's what men really want. Blowjob, then fucking, girl on top, or next best, fucking her face down. He says, a 50 caliber machine gun will take down an aircraft, will damage a tank, and has a 10-shot magazine, shoulder fired, for sniping long distance. My girlfriend quit man night managing the Circle K because of all the stress and is looking for something part-time. She'll sneak off to the store and slam down two tall beers so when we go to a party, she can pretend not to be drinking. Hmm. I put her picture on dreammates.com and pretended to be her for a gag. Sometimes late at night, I write back to the sad fuck who respond to her profile. I hardly don't sleep anymore and I still have bad dreams. Being able to sit for hours without moving is what made me a good cop when I was a cop. My new friend Ray is a cop and lets me ride along once in a while. Those are the happiest times I have anymore. When Ray was a sniper in Afghanistan, a pregnant woman got off the bus near the embassy one day and started spraying with an AK-47. He got a two for one. The kid would have just grown up one day and shot everyone. That's how he looked at it. Do you understand what I'm saying? In Vietnam, a kid came running up with a grenade in his hand. You shot that little body and blew it apart. My girlfriend has orgasms that could be old wallpaper. That's something anyway, he said. Mm. Thanks, and I'm going to end with this poem and then do a little harmonica, just because I can, <laughs> just because they'll let me. I have no real, you know, I have no real way to tie this particular thing to um, a poetry reading, except that, you know, I figured poets might appreciate it. So, but this poem does mention the harmonica, so that's my... That's my nominal segue into um, playing. This is called News. Because no reporters came to my door wanting to confirm my low opinion of the present administration. Because not even the Jehovah's Witnesses, who can usually be counted on to arrive each Saturday bearing informative articles on Satan's wiles and the hour of judgment can be counted on this afternoon. I have no one to tell that the load of laundry I managed to carry to the washer has been transferred successfully to the dryer. <laughs> I was even able to make myself coffee and toss the cat's toy onto her carpeted platform before I returned to my bed. These were little victories over a sullen god, the one who hunkers down and rocks back and forth, muttering that there's no reason to go on, lifting the stone of today, only to watch it roll down into tomorrow. And now I feel compelled to report that when the clothes were dry and warm, I got up and folded them and put them away. That I finally dressed late in the afternoon and looked out the window and saw my neighbor, an old black man who lives alone and sits on his porch most days in a ratty kitchen chair. So I got my harmonica and played a bit of Sunny Terry I'd been working on. And I don't know if he listens. If it lit a match to the damp cigarette of his joy, I can't say. But maybe it did in some small and unrecorded way. Thank you. I thought the last thing I would do. I this is I've never done this before. Um, I've, I've done a little bit of harp in front of people, but I've been working on a train song. So I want to just try to play for you a, a little train song. <laughs> um, and this is kind of a combination of a couple couple different train songs that I learned. So. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 